there was one study that I really liked that had shared with Gloria. They wanted to look at, is there any benefit to doing high strength peels versus uh, maybe doing like a 15% glycolic, actually twice daily. Um, mm -hmm. To be fair, we would say the, this testing scenario is definitely on the incredibly intense Tense. side, yeah, <laughs> yes, aggressive it is. side. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll paint you the picture now. Um, this is a study of 58 subjects. Females, our age group is 19 to 41, and they must have atrophic acne scarring. Remember, this is the scarring Dips. with the divots. So mm -hmm. this can include boxcar, ice pick, rolling, and just you're seeing that um, Topography, divot. Topography, exactly. dips, yeah. Yeah. And um, they broke these, these subjects up into three groups. Mm -hmm. So you have your peel group, mm -hmm. and these peel groups are performed biweekly. And how this is arranged and scheduled is kind of interesting. So first off is the face will be degreased twice mm -hmm. with alcohol and acetone mm -hmm. before applying the peel. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is they apply this peel. It's non-buffered. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're applying this peel for just two minutes. And this will steadily increase every bi-week um, mm -hmm. from 20 to 35 to 50% to 70% glycolic acid. Yes, Gloria. All right. Okay. I would like to have a really quick <laughs> PSA corner here. Um, when we say non-buffer free acid, yeah. this means business. Yeah. Um, what you get, we did a whole episode and a whole blog post on home peels. Yeah. You can find things like 20 to about 30% glycolic acid yeah. where the pH is at 3.5. Yeah. To give you context, if you don't buffer the solution, if you don't have a base in it, we're talking about pH of like a one yeah. or like a 0.5 yeah. and pH is a logarithmic scale. So it doesn't mean it's like a pH of one and pH of three. The difference is not like three X. It's like a hundred X. Yeah. So it's really important to keep that in mind. This was a hundred percent done in office. Yeah. You might be able to buy glycolic acid at this level online. Probably like if Amazon. you search hard enough. Yeah. Yeah. Do not do this at home. <laughs> Degrease, degreasing with alcohol and acetone mm. is common practice in office. You can, this is why sometimes we suggest you can use a clay mask mm. or just wipe down your face really well to give it that similar type of effect. Mm. But this really intensifies the, um, the experience. Now for the faint of heart, I definitely don't do this at home. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, this is all obviously under expert supervision. Yeah. So the thing to know is if you're wondering how they're increasing, mm. um, what they do is when they apply the peel, they are timing it to see how long your skin is able to endure. Mm -hmm. So if your skin is able to um, endure it for up to five minutes, mm -hmm. then they gra then you graduate to the next concentration of peel. Yep. Um, so this is the peel group. Mm -hmm. The second group is the maintenance group. And this are individuals that are, they're gonna get a 15% glycolic acid product. And they're gonna use it twice daily. Mm. And I should also, I forgot to mention, this study goes on for 24 weeks. So this is a pretty, pretty impressive long, length, yeah. yeah. But I think twice daily exfoliant for me in my head, I'm like, that's a lot, mm -hmm. yeah. The third group is the control group. Mm -hmm. And they just get a blank moisturizer that they're applying every twice day. I just feel kind of bad, like the people <laughs> who are like, oh my God, a, a, a study on acne scars. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. And then you draw the hat and it's like, here's a moisturizer. Bye-bye right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. So, all right. Let's talk about results. All right, let's go. Okay. So week eight. Mm -hmm. All right. This is when they're able to see a significant reduction in scar severity for the peel group. But this is where it's kind of wonky. It's not significantly better than the other groups. Interesting. So if you're kind of like wondering what does that mean, that's basically saying, yes, there is a benefit to using a peel at week eight. But if you compare it to the other groups, mm -hmm. they're also okay too. They didn't yeah. get significant results, but they're also healing. They're well. like trending in the right direction. Yes. Okay. So then we hit week, week 16. Mm -hmm. And you're probably feeling like this is a very long study. Yes, it is. I think... We talked about this in hyperpigmentation. I think this realm and the pigmentation realm is when study lengths and the Must time be unit much longer. has to be longer. Much, exactly. much longer. Yeah. yeah. So week, week 16, they saw a significant reduction in severity for both the group B and C, which is actually 15% oh. glycolic acid and twice a day. Moisturizer. And the control group. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. So I think the takeaway here is that by week 16, if you are using a 15% glycolic acid treatment twice a day, you will see significant reduction. But your skin is also healing itself. Mm -hmm. Right. And those, you know, they're obviously comparing it to baseline. So, you know, for that rate, I, I just feel like I'm, it's more like, yeah, they're both, everyone's on the up and up by week 16. Yeah. 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 
And the other thing to keep in mind is the Peel group still has not seen significantly better results than the other And then group. at this point, they're like, I felt like we're getting chipped. I'm coming at twi like twice. I'm coming every other yeah. week to burn my face. Yes. What the heck? Exactly. Then we hit week 20. Mm -hmm. And by week 20, the Peel group has had 10 Peels. Mm -hmm. That means that these subjects on average are getting about four to six applications of 70% glycolic acid mm -hmm. at this point. Um, and this is when you actually see significant improvement from the previous results. And then only by the end of the study, week 24, do they actually see significantly better results than group B with 15% glycolic acid. I love this study. <laughs> it's super interesting. Yeah. And I think for those of you, a couple things. First of all, um, this highlights the length of time yeah. it really takes to, to heal from yeah. scarring. And it's important to keep in mind that skin will do its thing naturally so that's why even with just a moisturizer mm -hmm. you see a certain level of, of improvement yeah. and um but you won't see market improvement from topicals until like four or five yeah. months in and yeah. that's just a state of it yeah um for the peel group i do want to highlight that for in office peels glycolic acid at the end of the day is still considered a superficial peel mm -hmm. it is still a mild peel as that's far true. as the, the stuff that you can get yeah um but um it's obviously work with your care provider to see what level of peel is right for you for scarring it's it's a very sensitive topic mm -hmm. because on one hand yeah it takes something pretty intensive to to see the results but at the same time this is not something you want to irritate skin too much yeah. on and um and yeah I, I think this is a super cool study that i did yeah and i think one of the things i should also mention is that they also noted that 48 out of 58 of these patients actually ended up completing and seven of the seven subjects in the peel group withdrew because they couldn't tolerate the peels. They couldn't tolerate a peel higher than 20 to 35 percent with a contact time longer than two minutes. They just mm -hmm. couldn't take it. So I think like what also is important to know is like there's going to be a cohort of people that can't can't do, do it. Yeah, They just can't. Yeah. And so. The idea is that, well, at least then a 15% glycolic treatment could be just um, a second option for these mm -hmm. individuals because, yeah, it's definitely not going to be for everyone. Yeah, yeah, and I love that this also highlighted, I think a couple of weeks ago when we were doing the home peel yeah. question, there are people that ask like, oh, like, or even feedback from customers that use our home peels, yeah. they they didn't understand the difference between using a low dose every day mm. versus a higher dose every day. And I think this clinical level of glycolic acid really showcases what you get from peels is very different than what you get from leave on. Because 15% yeah. twice a day, you're still just doing general, very surface yeah. level maintenance work. No, that's a really good point. Yeah, for sure. And honestly, this isn't the only study I was going to share with Gloria. There's, and I'm not even going to get into it, mm -hmm. is that they've done other peel studies on acne scarring as well. Um, there's one that's specifically done on Asian skin that mm. looked at 15% um, acid treatment versus um, doing a 35% and a 50% glycolic acid peel. Um, and I think the thing to keep in mind is just that these studies are done a lot longer. Um, this one was also done for uh, at least 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so there's just a lot of um, focus on how these in-office peels can help with atrophic scarring and yeah anyway so i just yeah yeah it's one of those